Hey guys, welcome to Jingle Lil's day one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited and I cannot believe the day is finally here. We are officially on day one of 12 days of Jingle Lil's. As you guys know, if you didn't or follow, didn't follow or watch my Halloween series, it's kind of the same concept. I'm gonna be creating or sharing projects with you for 12 days and at the end of each video, whatever was shown will be given away and on i think after december 25th i think is when i'll or december 26th after the holidays i'm going to announce the winners because i might need a little time you know due to the holidays you guys but yeah i'm excited so you guys it's gonna be pretty hectic for me and crazy because i actually have two series going on i have one here which is jingle lils but I also am hosting a series over on my Patreon where it's 12 days of Christmas cards. So if you're not a patron, definitely go check it out. I will be giving away those cards as well. So yes, lots of work the next 12 days, but so worth it because you guys, this is what I love to do. And on today's video, I'm going to be making a mini fold-up book from a new friend. Her name is Beck. And she has a channel and an Instagram, and she's, hello, my name is Beck. She's from Australia. So I'm going to link her down below. Go check her out. Ara actually just did a live where she created this book as well. And I just was like, yep, I need to do one on my episodes of Jingle Lil's because I love it. I think it's so cute, and it'll be something fun to send away as a prize. So definitely go check out her tutorial, you guys. It's super easy to follow. I actually have her up on my screen right now, just in case I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Beck is here to help me. She's going to be part of uh, Jingle Lil's um, without even knowing it. She's in the episode, you guys. So let me show you first what I'm using. You only need three sheets of 6x6 six six paper for this collection. I am using Doodle Bugs Here Comes Santa collection which I think is from 2016, you guys. This is an oldie but goodie, but it's so cute. I love the papers and this is what they look like. And what I learned from watching, um, actually I might change this paper, from watching Ara make this project was that you have to be careful with your design. I'm gonna use double-sided paper. Beck didn't use double-sided paper, but just gotta be careful with the design because it can kind of look like backwards if you're using something that kind of, see, I'm gonna use this one back here. We'll use this one instead. Kind of like if you use something like this, if you flip it the wrong way, your Santa Clauses will be backwards. So thanks to Ada showing me that, doing hers, I can prevent that from happening on this one. So I'm gonna be using this green with the red, the striped with the holly berries, this polka dot one, and then it has like snowflakes on the opposite side. So those are the three sheets that I'm gonna be using. And then to decorate it later on, I did bring out the ephemera pack. You guys have had this forever. I'm trying to stick to what I have here. I do have a couple of stickers on the side. I have some washi if I need it. And then the ribbon to close, like shut the book closed. I'm going to be using these. I think I'm going to put them together and use like all three. I think that's going to look super cute. But yeah, you guys, let's get into making this book and hopefully I can do this. So she made it look pretty simple, basically where you just have to fold the sheets in quarters so we're going to do that and yeah you guys you guys got to leave me comments down below letting me know if you're excited for the series what do you want to see in the series there's going to be all kinds of videos you guys there's going to be um project shares there's going to be just straight up giveaways where I'm going to be giving away stuff because you guys already know that I have stuff that is doubled and I would love to share. There's going to be, what else? Project shares, craft with me's. I'm trying to put a little bit of everything into these 12 days. I really wish that I can do, maybe next year, you guys, if I like start super early and maybe pre-film, 
I might be able to do 25 days of Christmas. But that is so much work, you guys. It's a lot of work. But maybe next year if I start early, I can probably do it. And I know that you guys would love that. It's so fun. And maybe the same thing, like 31 days of Halloween. I'm thinking about that for next year. Maybe 31 days of Halloween and 25 days of Christmas. And, and then do like the 12 days of maybe giveaway. I don't know. I got to think of something new for next year. I cannot believe. I was watching my videos. And I can't believe that this is... Let me see. Jingle Lil's is since 2016. I don't know if I did it last year. I think I did it last year too. So three years of Jingle Lil's, you guys. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've been here forever. All right. So now let me, I have her video on mute. So I kind of want to see how she, after she folds it, where she makes her cut. So it doesn't really matter where. I think I'm going to cut it this way. So she cuts actually down the middle. And I think this is kind of like one of those projects that once you do it, it's like, okay, you'll be able to get a hang of it. So she does cut over here. She leaves a little tab. Put that to the side and then she cuts the little ends to kind of give it like that flap look so hopefully i'm still in frame yep just like that okay so then what she does is that she folds it over i think like this all right and then it becomes like a little cube i think that's just about right okay let me just make sure I bone fold this correctly so everything is nice and folded. So we have the first one, and now we're going to do this one. I'm trying to figure out what ways I want to do it, but I'm going to cut down here. And then we're going to cut over here. And then you make your little... Kind of like your little tabs. Okay, and then that's when you have your little cube. Okay, looking cute, looking cute. And then one more here. And that, I'll just... So basically, and let me just fold this down. Easy enough so far, you guys. Easy enough. I hope I did this the right way. Because I know she said. Yeah, I think she. Yeah, this way. This way. Oh, I think I did this one the wrong. I might have to flip it this way. Okay, so this is what you are supposed to end up with. And I did all three cards like she did hers first. And then I'm using my ATG. She used um, red line tape, but sometimes I feel like that is so time consuming that I think my ATG should be good. So let me see here. After she, oh, what well, actually she, um, this little corner right here, is this the one? Yeah, she folds it in a triangle. And then she folds it again, like a cross. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do that to all my 
little papers. Not too bad. Wait, wait. Am I doing this the right way? Yeah, I think it's this way. Why does it look like I can't? Okay. This paper is pretty thick, you guys. There's some doodlebug paper. Good quality. Pretty thick. So I think we have it both ways. Yep. And then we're going to do this one. So we're going to fold over. And then we're going to fold over on this side. And now I'm just going to go over it just so that it has like a really good fold. These are super cute. I love the way ours came out. Came out so cute. So I think how she has it, it's, it would be like this, or this is underneath, right? And then she folds this back, and then you end up with something like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to seal these up, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so after I glued everything down, this is what I'm left with. That's my little flap. That's the opposite side. And they're like little pages like this. So I have three of them that are going to be put together. So I'm going to seal this side and this side down so that it can stick together. I'm actually going to add the adhesive over here over here just all over the page just to be sure that it's going to stay nice and secure because like I did say this paper is pretty thick and I'm going to make this as even as possible yep I'm going to try our best to make it as even as possible because it is pretty tricky all right and then we're gonna put this one down on the opposite side so we're gonna add a bunch more ATG tape a whole bunch okay and then we're gonna add I'm gonna do it from here and hopefully we're good yep I think we are I think that's pretty close 
And look, you guys. We have our little book. Almost. I love this. I love this idea back. So cute. So, what we're going to do is we're now going to add the ribbon. And I want to do three colors. I'm going to be extra. We're going to be extra. I'm going to add, and for it to stay still, I'm going to kind of add like a little piece of ATG there and kind of like straighten these ribbons out. So that I know exactly how I want them. Okay, hold on. Let me see how long I want to make this. So we're going to lay the first one here onto the tape. Make sure they're all the same length. And I hope I'm in frame. And then the second one. And then this pretty white one. I should totally put the white one in the middle. Right? And make sure that I have them the right. Oh, now. Now, now. I need to have them... The same exact length. Okay, so like that. And then the green one, we'll add it right here. Alright. Oh, I like that. So let me just cut. Where's my scissors? You guys, I used my good scissors to cut um like the boxes open and it ruined my scissors. So I need new ones. Okay, so I didn't put ATG on this side to kind of like lay down my ribbon so we're gonna do that over here you guys my neighbors have that um that speaker like on their phone like on their car and like I can hear their whole, their whole, their whole, oh my gosh, can I speak? Their whole conversation. Because they're like talking right in my window. Okay. I got my strip of paper that's going to be wrapped around my little booklet. And that's going to be my cover. So... I just wanna make sure that I'm doing this the right way. I had the same issue that Beck had where my paper was too thick. So it didn't quite, let's see, so I'm thinking, yeah. Maybe like this. And this is some cardstock from I think from Michaels, and it's pretty thick too. Okay, and this is gonna be the cover. I feel like it's too. All right, let me figure out this cover, and I'll be right back because this video is gonna be super long. Okay guys, we got our cover. I'm not too happy with the way this little fold here looks, but look you guys, and I have my three little strands of ribbon to close it up, and now we're going to decorate it. 
So I'm going to decorate the inside first and then I'll decorate the cover. So let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of goodies. Or should I do the cover first? Let me see what we have. Ooh, I might do the cover first. Let's see. How big is this notebook paper? Because I kind of like the way this looks, but I might cut it down. So, yeah, I might cut it down to make it fit and kind of be my base. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, so we have that. And I think I want to put one of these little frames. Just like a little background piece. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe some... Well, I got to see what I got to put on the front first. I love the Santa, kind of like, that's super cute. And then like some holly berries, maybe from the, is there like a Christmas tree? A Christmas tree and maybe like a little gift. Let me see, I'm trying to hold this down. gift is too big oh look at this cute little bird I actually like this bird over here but no we're not gonna do that I like the way that looks but I feel like I need a sentiment and then I was thinking about let me see no so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the cover like that and then I'm gonna put a sentiment in the front. I don't know why it only says ho. Oh no, it does say ho ho. I was gonna say why does it say just ho? No, but it says ho ho. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna do this and then move on to the middle of the book. Be right back guys. Okay, guys, we have decorated our cover, and that's what it looks like. And now we are going to decorate the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have put all the pieces that I want to use aside. So hopefully this will be smooth sailing. So there's a bunch of like little stamps in this collection. So I definitely want to use some of those. I'm going to be putting here like this little milk and cookies little ephemera piece with a little birdie right there so that's gonna go right there let's get my glue gun going i'm gonna put that right here I think that little piece is so cute So that's our little decoration for that side. On this side over here, I think I'm going to do the little Santa letters. So there's these cute little letters and I'm gonna kind of like just place them strategically around, putting this one as the main little piece in the center right here. And then we're gonna put this one kind of like right here and then the green one on the end I'm gonna actually check if there is another one in this or actually I'm gonna put some of these little peppermint little candies this collection is too cute oh that looks adorable I love that okay so on this one 
I'm gonna put one side, kind of like some stockings hanging. So we're gonna have one stocking hanging there. I hope I am in frame. And then one stocking hanging here. And then the third one on the end. And I think that looks adorable. Little stockings, you guys. And maybe I can put like a little sentiment in the middle. I have this little Merry Christmas that I was going to use. I'll probably end up putting that right there or right down here. I don't know. What should I do, you guys? I know you're not going to answer in time, but I don't know. Might not put that there. Okay, on this side, I'm going to put some ornaments. So we're going to put the big red one first. And then this green one. Just like that. What a festive little book. And now towards the end, I'm going to have the two little stamps. So is this, oh my gosh, I almost put the stamp the wrong way. Wrong way, Lily. Okay, this way. And then the other one kind of like overlapping it. See that? Let me make sure. Yep, you guys can see that. Okay, and then we're going to add a little gift over here and a Christmas tree right next to it. And I actually might put the Merry Christmas right on. Did I use that? No, I used Holiday Wishes on the front. Okay. So I'm going to put the Merry Christmas right here. And then what I'm going to add around the book is just some little enamel dots, little jemmies, these little gold jemmies. I love them so much. So I'm going to place them in each little section. This one I'm going to put right on Santa's hat. And I wonder if I have, let me see here. Doesn't have a little, oh, maybe I can put this little other ornament in the center with a little foamy. Oh yeah, perfect. Is that not the cutest? Now, I'm not going to put anything here. I'm going to let the recipient decorate that if she wants. But this is my book, you guys. What do you think? The lighting is a little bit off because it got dark super fast. I can't believe it. It's like 1 o'clock, but since it's so gloomy. Is this not the cutest, you guys? And then you tie it up. I'm going to add also a little bell to my little ribbon. But you tie it up. Oops. Okay, get it together, Lily. And you tie it up, and there's your little book. So cute. So that is going to be day one of Jingle Lil's. I know this video is probably super long, but that's the whole fun of it, you guys. It's a series. And this is going to be the prize for today's giveaway as well as another little extra you know i add little extras with the prizes but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think of so far day one of jingle lils and if you're interested on my patreon series definitely check out the link and i will see you guys on day two tomorrow bye guys Hey guys, I ended the video and I didn't even tell you guys what you need to do to enter the giveaway for the 12 days of Jingle Lil's. It's going to be kind of the same thing as Lil Ween. You just have to leave a comment down below saying enter me to get a chance to win this cute little book and whatever extras I add. That is going to be the same thing for every single day of the series. 
but i'll also have all the rules linked down below so definitely check that out and now i will go bye guys